so here we have made a kit which works as an electronic voting machine so the basic principle behind the working of the kit is that uh, there'll be one person uh, who'll authorize uh, the voting so if we reset this machine so this is the key uh, so if if i press this key uh, so this is the authorization that someone can now vote so as as you can see uh, the display on the lcd here so uh, we programmed this kit in such a way that there are four candidates currently and uh, someone who wants to vote can choose among any of these candidates so if i press this button see uh, the vote is casted and again you'll have to press the enter key and then you can vote another candidate so once the voting is done and you want to see what uh, what are the total votings uh, which have been casted so we have this switch here so you have to en enter a password so the password is uh, three times one so once the password is entered you'll be able to see uh, the total number of votes which have been casted and once you see this data automatically the data will get deleted uh, so this works on uh, the 8051 series microcontroller and uh, this is these are the keypads uh, through which the data is sent to the microcontroller so you can order this kit from our website uh, www.kitscrew.com where you'll find uh, two versions of this kit uh, one is where you will uh, get a complete ready-made kit which you can see here and the other one is where you'll get a complete breakdown kit where you'll get all the components separately uh, and you will be able to assemble all the components and solder all the components with the help of our uh, video tutorials. So in this section of the video we'll see what all components are used in the kit, how to assemble those components on the PCB, what are the functions of each component and uh, how do we check the power supplies and how do we convert a, a kit into a working project. So as you can see first we have kept a ready-made kit uh, so with reference to this kit we'll make uh, we'll connect all the components on the PCB so there are two uh, PCBs here uh, one is the PCB of the microcontroller and the second one is the keypad so first we'll take a look at the keypad PCB so this is a PCB, this is the top layer of the PCB where all the components are inserted and this is the bottom layer of the PCB where the copper tracks are present and the soldering is done. So the technology that we use is called a through hole technology in which we uh, drill holes from the top side throughout the PCB uh, till the bottom layer and insert the components from the top layer and solder it at the bottom layer. So for reference purpose, I'll keep my blank PCB with reference in line with the ready-made kit so that I can align my components accordingly. So this particular PCB is quite simple. We have uh, uh, these micro switches, which are on off switches that needs to be connected. So there are nine switches. So you can connect all the switches accordingly. And with those switches you have a, a connector so we'll connect the base connector base that is a butt strip and then we can connect the connectors onto it so we'll tell you how exactly it has to be connected uh, in the later part of this video so this is a quite simple pcb so we'll we'll now discuss the uh, components which has to be inserted in the main PCB so this is the main PCB I'll keep this also in line with the ready-made PCB so there are basically three sections here uh, one is the section of the power supply uh, the second is the section of the microcontroller and the third section is the section of the LCD so starting with the power supply as you can see we have a power jack in order to give power through a an adapter then we have an on off switch this two pin connector is not required uh, this is used generally when you need to give power directly through a battery so this is an on off switch which is to control the uh, power main power supply to the entire PCB and then we have a bridge rectifier 
so in case you give a power supply through a transformer you need to convert the ac uh, power supply into dc power supply so for that this bridge rectifier is used so when you take a look at the uh, bridge rectifier from the top it has four terminals as you can see so two terminals the two input terminals represent uh, ac signal and two output terminals represent uh, represented by the positive and negative sign on the top represents the dc output so the stem which is longest in length is corresponding to the positive uh, terminal so while inserting the uh, bridge rectifier we need to ensure that the positive terminal is at the bot top right this is the positive terminal and to remove the repulses generated in the rectification process we use a 1000 uh, microfarad capacitor which converts the pulsating dc into smooth dc so this has two terminals the stem which is longer in length is a positive terminal and in case the stems are of equal length there is a strip on the capacitor which indicates that this is a negative terminal so while inserting the capacitor we need to ensure that the positive terminal is in line with the bridge rectifier so which is away from you then as you can see there is an indicator a power indicator led so even led has uh, polarity so the stem which is longer in length is the positive terminal and in case both stems are of equal length the bulb uh, which is usually round gets flat uh, on the negative terminal so this bulb will get flat when you will feel it it will get flat on the negative terminal so while inserting the led you need to ensure that the negative terminal is towards you so positive terminal is away from you and in order to protect the led in case of over current we insert a 1 kilo ohm resistor with color code brown black and red and then this entire kit works on 5 uh, volts so we need to convert the 12 volt input to a 5 volt output smooth output for that we use a 7805 voltage regulator ic so when you see this uh, voltage regulator ic in front of you the face which has specifications written on it is the front face the stem which is left which is at the left side is the fr first terminal then then you have the ground and then uh, at the right side you have the voltage voltage output 5 volt output terminal so while inserting you need to ensure that the first terminal is in line with the uh, positive terminal of the capacitor and the bridge rectifier so that it receives the input signal and then converts it into the 5 volts output so this completes the section of the power supply so then we'll come on to the microcontroller Uh, this is the microcontroller base a base is used uh, so that while soldering your microcontroller should not get damaged due to overheating and also in case you need to replace your microcontroller in the future uh, you need to remove it so for that we use an ic base so as you can see there is a notch uh, here so the microcontroller as well as the ic base will have a notch so while inserting the base we need to ensure that the notch is on the right side so this is the notch and so if you take a look at this notch and um, the pin which is at the top right that is this pin is the first pin and then you need to count counter clockwise so the bottom right pin will be the pin number 40 of the microcontroller and on top of this you'll have to insert the microcontroller this microcontroller runs on a clock frequency so we need to insert a 10 megahertz crystal oscillator uh, and in in case the oscillator does not start the oscillation process we use two capacitors of 33 picofarad each in parallel this next to the crystal oscillator and then we need to insert a resistor of 10k
with color code brown, black and orange. And then we have three micro switches next to the resistor. So after inserting the micro switches here, you need to connect another uh, butt strip uh, in order to connect the connectors. You have to connect the base. And <coughs> to pull up the port 0 of the microcontroller, we use a network resistor. Now this is a network resistor. Uh, this is a cluster of uh, 8 resistors of 10 kilo ohm each and also you have a pin for VCC. So now while inserting you will see that while, while taking a look at the uh, network resistor you will see that there is a dot on the left side. So while inserting we need to ensure that the dot is facing us. So the dot will be on this side facing you. Then we use a potentiometer of 10 kilo ohm which is a preset this is to control the contrast of the LED LCD sorry and then we'll use a butt strip for the connection of the LCD so this is the male part which is inserted here and this is the female part so the female part goes on to the uh, LCD and it can be soldered and then it can be inserted onto the male part so then you need to connect the remaining switches So the four switches will be connected here so after connecting the switches and before uh, inserting your microcontroller and the LCD we need to ensure that the power uh, the power is adequate and uh, the exact or the right amount of power is given to each component so we need to check the power supplies first so for that we'll use a digital multimeter this is a digital multimeter so the black terminal is the ground terminal which has to be attached to the body of the voltage regulator ic so the first stem of the voltage regulator ic should show the input signal which is around 12 volts and the output should show 5 volts uh, there is there might be a fault in the multimeter which is showing a higher value but it should it should show 5 volts the last pin of the microcontroller should show 5 volts that is the 40th pin the second last pin of the LCD should show 5 volts and to check the uh, connection uh, or to connect finish the connections here first we'll bring the micro uh, multimeter to the continuity phase and then we'll make sure that these two pins are connected as you can hear the beep so it means the first pin here should be connected to the first pin here and then the rest of the connections will be done accordingly so you have to make sure that this pin is connected to this pin instead of the opposite instead of the other way around so this is how the connections are done so you can order this kit from our website kidsguru.com where you will find two versions of the kit one where you will get this complete ready-made kit 
and the other way you'll get all the components separately along with the specification sheet and program microcontroller and with the help of uh, this video tutorials and also our uh, tutorials on how to solder the pcb you'll be able to convert uh, the components into a working project